Shalom, Shalom, Israel coming back with another video. First off, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Hamashiach, Wamalak, Yahushai, right? And the title of this video is going to be titled, Don't Envy Sinners, right? And don't envy the oppressors, right? We're not supposed to envy these sinners, right? And these oppressors, right? You're not supposed to envy someone because you see them, um, you know, it seems like they have success. It seems like they have the money, the cars, the clothes, you know, the, the houses, right? The women or the women have the men, whatever the case may be. You're not supposed to envy these people, right? because you don't know what this person may have done to gain that success that he has <laughs> right like a lot of these celebrities our people tend to uh, envy these people right our people tend to envy them and it's you don't know what these people have done to gain that level of success success right a lot of them mo all of them right they sell their souls to the devil right these people sell their souls to the devil and they 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 um, they commit homosexual acts. You know, they they sacrifice each other, right? They do much wickedness, right? We're not supposed to envy these people. Get the book of uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-seven and verse uh, seventeen. It reads, "Shlakia Proverbs twenty-three and seventeen Shlakia." It says, "Let not thine heart envy sinners. Don't let your heart envy sinners." Right? When you envy, what does that mean? It means to desire, right? Let's get it though. Let's get that in the in the, the dictionary, right? It's like you. Envy. means what jealousy enviousness covetousness desire right so we're not supposed to be jealous of what a sinner has or, or, or what our oppressors have right we're not supposed to be jealous at these things and desire these things that they have because like like i said you don't know what these people have done to gain that it says let not thy heart envy sinners but be thou in the fear of the lord all the day long Right? He said, be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Right? Don't envy the sinners. Because when you fear the Lord, when you fear the Lord, you get wisdom. Right? Knowledge, understanding. Right? Those are the things that we should want. Those are the things that we should uh, desire. Right? Knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Right? Desire to, to have that faith built up. Desire to walk in these laws that your commandments forever and forevermore. Right? To love your neighbor as yourself. And your own people, you so-called black, so-called Latino, so-called Native Seminole Indians. Right? That's what we should be desiring. We should be desiring to love the Lord, right? Not desiring to um to 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 one with these with these heathen have, right? With the, with these sinners have, right? Right? Book of Job uh, twenty eight and twenty eight. It says, and and unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord that is wisdom. Right? So he said, walk in the fear of the Lord all the day long. And the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Right? It says, and to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from evil is understanding. So we have to depart from evil. Right? You don't know what these people have done. Or how much wickedness they have committed to gain the success they have. To get the money they have. The cars, the clothes, the, you know, whatever they have. You don't know what they have done to gain that. So we don't envy that. Right? <clears throat> Read on. Proverbs 23. And um, 18, it says, For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall, shall not be cut off. Right? It says, For surely there is, a, there is an end. Right? Because these people, you know, who, who have committed this wickedness, there's an end to that. Right? Most like God's going to cut that off. It says, verse 19, Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Right? So we have to be wise. Fear the Lord and guide our heart in the way. The way of understanding, the way of obeying these law statutes and commandments, right? Book of Proverbs 24 and verse 1, it says, Be not thou envious against evil men, right? Don't be envious against evil men, right? Desiring the things that they have, wishing you can be like them, 
right? Neither desire to be with them. Don't even desire to be with them, be around them, right? For their heart studieth destruction, right? Their heart studies destruction. They're thinking on the next come up. How are they going to get their, you know, their next gig? How are they going to do this? How are they going to do that, right? It says, and their lips talk of mischief, right? Their lips talk of mischief, right? Verse 3, it says, through wisdom is an house built it. So through wisdom is, 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 is how a house is built it, right? The fear of the Lord. And by understanding, it is, it is established, right? And to get understanding is to depart from evil. That's how the house is established. And by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong, yet a man of knowledge increaseth strength, right? For by the it's like yeah. For by wise counsel thou shalt make thy thy war. And in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Right? So we have to we have to fear the Lord. Right? We have to desire to, to uh to, to, to do the things that the Lord wants us to do, not to desire and envy these sinners and these oppressors, right? That's going off, right? Proverbs 3 and 31. It's like your Proverbs 3 and 1. And that's 31, it's like you. Yeah, 3 and 31, it says what? Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. So don't envy the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Who's our oppressor? So-called white man, right? And these other heathen, we're not supposed to envy them and want to be like them. And that's a that's what our people have a big problem doing, right? They walk around dyeing their hair blonde, right? Men and women. And that's going off. What does a man look up, look like walking around with blonde hair in his head, right? That's effeminate. That, that's just going off. That's wicked, right? Being like the oppressor, right? The Lord said don't do that. Right, when you go into the law in Leviticus, right, I believe the 13th chapter, right, it, it goes into, um, it goes into, um, the blonde hair, right, that's leprosy, right, that's unclean, so why would you want to walk around looking like your oppressor, looking unclean in the sight of the Lord, right, the Lord said don't do that, right, those people are unclean, right, yeah, that's in the book of Leviticus, right, 13, 29 through 30, right, Walking around with blonde hair, that's uncleanness, right? You know, that that's that's not something you would want to envy and want to do, right? It says, choose none of his ways, right? You're not supposed to be walking around here trying to be like the heathen, right? That's going off. Let's get the book of Psalms 37 and 1. Book of Psalms chapter 37 and verse 1. And it reads, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquities. Right, so he said, fret not thyself because of the evildoers, neither be thou envious against the worker of iniquities. Right, because you don't know what these people have done to gain that success. Right, so you, why would you want to envy that? This person may have killed somebody. Right, this person may have robbed somebody. This person may have done much wickedness. Right? So you have to abstain from that. Right? Why would you want to be like that? Right? It says, verse 2, For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Right? Because the Lord is going to cut these people off. It may seem like they have success in that, you know, they haven't been in trouble as other men and things like that for now. But the Lord sees all things and he's going to cut them off. Right? Verse um, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. So we have to trust in the Lord and do good. And what is good? Keeping these law statutes and commandments, right? Fearing the Lord, loving the Heavenly Father, right? Having the faith in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, whom the world calls Jesus Christ, right? Trust in the Lord and do good. So thou, so like it, so, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Right, so delight thyself in the Lord, and He will give you the, the the desires of your heart. Not by envying a sinner or envying an oppressor. If you feel like you going that route, it's going to get you the the desires of your heart, right? Because then you're going to be breaking the law, statutes, commandments, and then that's going to bring forth death, and you're going to be punished, right? So you should delight in the Lord, and He will give you the things that you need, right? But if you if you delight in, in envying sinners and oppressors, 
and you go out and start uh, committing these wicked acts as they have done, you're going to be punished for that. You're going to be cut off. Right? <clears throat> Verse 5. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. Right? Commit your way to the Lord. Right? And he will bring it to pass. Right? He will give you the things that you need, the desires of your heart. Right? And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Right? Get the book of Psalm 73. Psalm 73. In verse 3, it says, this is Psalm 73 and 3, For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Right. He'd say he was he was envious, right? He 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 was he was desiring, you know, the things of the foolish when he saw the prosperity of the wicked. He saw that they were prospering, right? For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Right? Because it may seem like these people are um getting away with something, you know, it may seem like they're not getting in trouble, they they haven't been caught, you know, they they've been um prospering for years and years you know they have the money the cars the clothes they have everything right but we're not supposed to envy that because that's all going to come to an end right it says <clears throat> therefore pride compasses them about as a chain right because these people are full of, of pride right it says violence covers them as a garment right because they're wicked right you don't know what this person has done right their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. Right? Their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the heart could wish. Right? They have everything. And when our people see that, they desire that. They want that. Right? But the Lord said, don't do that. Right? When they see these celebrities, they, they want that. They want to be like that. They want to be famous. They want to be this. They want to be that. They want the cars. They want everything. Right? They desire things of the of the of, of the oppressors and things of the sinners. Right? Even in the world, you may see somebody that has a nice car, you know, has money, has this, this, and that, right? You don't know what this person has done to get that. You don't know if this person has killed someone, this person has sold drugs, right? This person, you know, has committed much wickedness to gain whatever he has gained, right? So we're not supposed to envy that. It says they are corrupt. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak lawfully. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Right? They set their 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 uh, mouth against the heavens. Right? You know they speak they speak against the heavenly Father. Right? Just like these these so called uh, famous people. What do they do? They worship Satan. Right? They throw the devil horns up. They 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 throw up the number six. Right? They they throw up the triangle. Right? You know, they, they, they set them up against the Heavenly Father, right? These people are, are wicked, right? So we have to abstain from those things, right? Let's get the book of um, Proverbs 24. Just like you. Let's get the book of Psalms 10 and 7. That's what I want. chapter 10 and verse 7 and it reads his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity right and that's talking about these sinners these wicked people right let me get the book of um like it. Let me get the book of Job. Let 
back to you. Trying to find this scripture real quick. Swacky, swacky. Book of Job, chapter 21, and verse 7, right? And it reads, Wherefore do the, do the wicked live, become old? Yeah, yeah, are mighty in power, right? And this is Job, right? He's saying, wherefore do the wicked live and become old, right? Because we see these wicked people, it seems like they've been prospering for years. You know, they live, they become old. You know, and they've been committing much wickedness in the earth. But guess what? The Lord is reserving them to the day of destruction. They're going to be put to death, right? And are mighty in power. Their seed is established in their sight with them and their offspring before their eyes, right? It says their houses are safe um, from fear. Neither is the rod of God upon them. Because they may seem like they're getting away. You know, that you see these people prosper. They become old. They pass it down to their children, you know. And, you know, it's, it seems like they're just prospering. And it seems like the Most High God is not punishing them. Right? But he is. Right? I'm going to jump down to verse... Um, I'm going to jump down to verse 14. It says, Therefore they say unto Yahweh, Depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. That's what these wicked people say against the Heavenly Father. Right? They set their mouth against God. Right? As we read. It says, what is the Almighty that we should serve him? See, that's what these people say. That's what these celebrities say, right? And they serve who? Satan, right? It says what? How often? It's like you. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? You see, they say, what profit do they have if they pray unto the Heavenly Father? So what do they do? They pray unto Satan, right? They throw up the devil horns. They throw up the number six, right? They throw up the triangle, right? They sacrifice, they sell their soul to Satan. That's who they pray to, Satan. Right? And there are people who are trying to desire, desire these people and be like them. That's going off. The Lord's going to destroy these people. He will destroy you for trying to, for desiring them and wanting to be like them. Right? Trying to follow up the way, after the way of the wicked. Verse 17. Sometimes the person it says, how oft is the candle of the wicked put out? How oft cometh their destruction upon them? God distributeth sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. <clears throat> he said, they are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the wind carrieth away. Right, because the Lord is going to punish these people. Verse 19, Yahweh, right, God layeth up his iniquity, for his children, he rewarded him, and he shall know it. His eyes sh sh shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Right? Because the Most High God is going to, he's going to, um, he's going to punish these people. It may seem like they're getting away for a minute, but hey, the Most High God is going to bring that judgment upon them. So we're not supposed to envy them and be like them, because you don't know what these people have done to gain that level of success. Like I've said two, three times already. I'm going to jump down to Job 21 and 30. It says what? The wicked 
is reserved to is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Who shall declare his way to his face? And who shall repay him what he hath done? Like, because the Lord's going to, he's going to tear them up. You know, they're, they're not going to make it. You know, so, you know, we, we have to abstain from envying um, sinners and oppressors. Right? Trying to be like the heathen, trying to follow their custom, you know, their, their false religions. You know, um, trying to dress like them, talk like them, dye, dye your hair like them. Things like that, the Lord don't deal with it. You know, he doesn't deal with those things. We're not supposed to envy the oppressor. You want to envy anything, envy following and obeying these law statutes and commandments, right? Envy um, loving the Lord, right? And having a faith in, of your, in, in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? Pray for faith. Pray for the spirit of the Lord. Things like that. That's the thing you should be envying, right? Envying that the Lord put the spirit on you, that you may endure to the end, right? Those are the things we should be envying. But Lord willing, this video is edifying to at least one brother or sister. To the next video, Shalom.